Ahoy bitches and bros and non-binary hoes, welcome back to Robbie Reviews, and today we're going to be taking a look at Twisters. I am not even going to lie, I'm not a big fan of the original Twister at all. To put it the nicest I can, I think it's a, a bigger budget Hallmark movie to me. I get that there's like a bunch of big stars in it from the 90s, but you have to understand, I wasn't even alive in the 90s, so all that star power is not going to amaze me, so... It kind of did for this one, because I know who Glenn Powell is, I know who Anthony Ramos is, I know who uh, Daisy Edgar Jones is. They're all great actors, they're very talented, I've seen them in other stuff. So yeah, of course this one's going to work on me. <laughs> Overall, I think the original Twister is just a fine movie. It's nothing amazing like some people make it out to be, but it, it's it's fine, it's serviceable. But the new one did look promising, and I gotta say, it's honestly, it's pretty good. It's not bad. Overall, I think the destruction in this movie is, is pretty fucking fun. They do a great job. They have some great, like, sets and production. A lot of it's practical, too. So you see, like, a lot of, like, real destruction. So they did a great job with that, showing, like, the dangers of these tornadoes. And showing them tear through, like, cities and stuff like that. I have, like, a kind of, like, a nitpick, though, and it's, like... How many fucking tornadoes are in this movie? Holy shit. There's like 10 of them. Why would you live anywhere near a town where there's like 20 tornadoes every second? They have like a couple live events. They have like a farmer's market. They have like a rodeo. There's like two events they have. And then the spam of like min like fucking like 40 minutes, five minutes, they get destroyed. They just get absolutely bum rushed. I just have to wonder, why did these people even live here? This should be like the biggest ghost town in america but yet they live here it's like fully populated i don't know man i just want to want to live somewhere where there's like 20 tornadoes like every fucking few days man yeah, the special effects destruction all that all that in that department is very good it's executed very well and it's complemented by a fun story it's not the most intelligent thought-provoking thing ever but it's fun it's just used to get the tornado to a tornado, and it's, it's very fun. We got some fun characters here. Lots of colorful characters. And the acting is pretty good. The, the acting is uh, pretty good. I think Glenn Powell has like the potential to be a... Well, I, I maybe you would say he already is, but I think he's a really top A-list star. He's a very fun. I've never seen him take like a, a bad role. He's never been a bad actor. He's always... Anytime he's in something, is one of the most entertaining parts about it. So I have to give credit to that. He really is an entertaining person who doesn't play like the same character in every movie. He just has great charisma, and I he's a great lead man. I I really I really like Glenn Powell. Hey Glenn, if you're if you're watching this for God knows what reason, I think you're cool. And if you want to have a drink or something, I'll drink water. But that I'd be down. <laughs> Overall, though, I really have nothing negative to say about this movie. It's just a solid, fun summer movie that your very Republican uncle will probably love. Overall, it's not bad. If I had to give it a score, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now, you're probably wondering, if you have nothing bad to say about this movie, why is it not like an 8 or a 9? Well, it's not some, like, fucking masterpiece I'm gonna, like, remember years from now. It's not... I don't think Roger Ebert is going to rise from the fucking grave to see Twisters. It's not some, like, amazing masterpiece you need to see immediately. It's just a fun summer blockbuster movie that'll keep you occupied for an hour and a half. That's it. It just it just does better than that than most of them. It's like a very above average movie. So, it's not remarkable. It's just, it's just fine. I was honestly debating on even making this video... But, you know what, I, I did say I was going to do every new release that I see, so I'm keeping my word, so, yeah. It's just a fun, above-average summer blockbuster that I think most people will just be relatively pleased with. And yeah, that's it, there's nothing really wrong with that. So, yeah, that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.